Hi, hi again to all of my subscribers. Robert here again with more Rivet MEP training. Hope you've been following along. So in this exercise, we're going to look at area calculations and color schemes. So this lesson will cover the volume calculations as well. So we created our spaces, and you can see our spaces actually have space names and space number and along with zones. Now we know the spaces calculate area and volume but it's not being displayed. So how do we go about that? First of all, let's just double check and make sure those calculations are being calculated. So what we do that is, or see how they're being calculated. So we go to Analyze tab. And then we'll go to Space Zones panel and click Spaces and Zones and then select uh, area and, comp and volume computations. Now on this window that opens up, we want to verify area volumes are calculated at the finished space and, and finished spaces are at the wall and then we'll click OK. Now we know those are being calculated so we need to display those on the tag. And to display those on the tag, we simply click on one of the tags the properties appear on the left and then we'll click edit type with a space tag. Now on the window that appears you'll see two check boxes, one for volume, one for area. So this can display those calculations for uh, or totals for each space. So let's check mark show area and we'll click apply. Now you'll see the total area of this place is display, as, as displayed. Now we can go and check volume now and click apply and you'll see the volume displayed. Okay now you can click them both but what happens is the in the family they're on top of each other as you can see so that's just based on how the family is created so if you wanted to uh, show both you would have to go into the family and uh, fix the tab or modify the tab so I'm going to just click area for this and click apply And I'm going to say OK. Now click in the background and deselect. So this is basically how you do this. So if you, if you want to create a new space, say by default, I'll show you what happens here. So this tag it says not enclosed. And it's saying not enclosed simply because it's not as covered in space. It's not in an enclosed space. So see if I bring it in, you see that you'll see the areas for that space. So just bring this back out here. So we just review we just went over area and volume calculations for space tabs. So you can do this for rooms if you like. Okay, so now next we want to look at now let's look at color schemes here. So we define our rooms, our spaces, and our zones. So now the model on my screen here, you can see this each space has a name, a number, and an area. And you can see the outline of the zones here and they contain multiple spaces. So maybe we want to add a color scheme here for our spaces. Or we can do a color scheme for our zones or even our rooms. So the first thing you would do is you would create a new view or give a name or whatever. So I would duplicate this view, but I'm going to just go right through this now. So first of all, let's look at the color schemes for zones and spaces. So Let's go to the architecture.
And then let's go to analyze here. I'm sorry, just one second. So let's go to analyze here. And go to our spaces of zone drop down and select color schemes. Now what displays are the color schemes defined in Revit? Now right now we're looking at the spaces category and there's the default scheme of one here. On the right are all of our spaces with the current colors assigned to each space. Now you can you could change these colors if you like. The RGB number, the Pantone number, or select a, a variety of different colors on your own. You can also duplicate the scheme, create new schemes by using these icons on the bottom here. Or you can rename and edit the current scheme, or you can delete it. But you can't delete this default one, but you can delete other ones if you created a new one. Also, if you want to look at different types of schemes based on the different categories, you can see that by clicking on the drop down here, and you'll see uh, we have our spaces, our rooms, HVAC zones. So if I slip on HVAC zones, these are the zones, the four zones that we created in this model. And each zone has a color scheme assigned to it. In other lessons, we can get into types of different uh, ducts and pipes, so we can change those colors as well. So let's go ahead and click OK. Now, the next step is we want to apply a color scheme to this view. So without anything being selected, I'm looking at the floor plan properties. And say floor plans on the left properties box. And if I scroll down in the property box until I get to entry, where is it at here? And when I get to the entry color screen, I want to click none here. This will display uh, the box we looked at, similar to it, but here you actually pick the scheme that you want to use for this floor plan. So I'm going to set the category to spaces, then I'm going to set scheme of one, and this is what we saw earlier. And this is this current scheme I'm going to use. So all these are visible, and these are the colors that are currently set. I'm going to click OK here. Now what happened, it will, the floor plan will change based upon that scheme, based upon spaces. So say if we want to change that, and we want this to be based upon zones. So I'm going to go back here, back to schema. Now we're back to that same window. This time you're going to change the category to spaces to HVAC zones. And then select schema one. And these are the listed four zones with the associated colors and the solid fill pattern. Just click OK. Now this will change to a color scheme based on zones. So this, there you go. So this, in this lesson, we we looked at how to define color schemes, and we looked at uh, how do you add area calculations and volumes. So hey, thanks for watching this brief video. Um, if anybody have any questions or comments, please put them in the comment section. And uh, I just set this back to none because I didn't duplicate any views. That's what you want to do. We want to duplicate some views before you do that and then add the color. So thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.